at some point, if you're Notre Dame, you're, oh. you are not allowed to be surprised and shocked. Brian Kelly, sh- you're Brian Kelly. Kelly. It's one you thing hired right. a snake. It's one thing if you hired Brian Kelly. You know what you're getting. He's a terrific football coach. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a re- he he's a damn good football Rain coach, maker. and he also knows what kind of guys make for really good football teams. Right. And he's going to bring those guys to your campus. Yes. And they're going to relax they the academic like he standards. And and you know that going in, and you make that higher. And then for Brian Kelly to be shocked, you're not allowed to be shocked because you're Brian Kelly. Yeah, he has that the little. I forget what he has in the locker room. There's a sign that don't cheat, don't do this, don't. And then it says they see it every day. Brian, you they know, can't read it. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, they, 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 a lot of them aren't able stop, to read it. Stop saying that. They might see it. It's it's what you can't get away from in college. All the hypocrisy, obviously, but with him in particular, when you make that hire, I mean, there's kids dead. There's everything else well, that's happened since he, yeah, he, he probably I, should have been fired after he helped kill a kid. Right. I mean, all of this, this entire body of work here, and then you make the national championship game, and that's not really the story. It's your weird linebacker. It's a story with another lie that I mean, I think that you know, when I started covering college football way back when. Some of the, the, the great belief in the Irish still remained. Mm-hmm. Well, look, you also had a snake in Lou Holtz when he won it. A complete snake. So, I mean, and again, if I want to win, if I'm an AD, God, I don't want to be an AD because I'm covered in slime and I'm coming out of a, of a lagoon somewhere. But if I, if I do that, I'm hiring a guy <laughs> like that, though. You know what I mean? I, I, who am I going to hire? That's exactly the guy I'm going to hire. Yep. You go to the lagoon of coaches. I'm going to bring one out. Here, yep. slimy Lou, come on. Yeah. And throw in a grappling <laughs> yeah. hook and drag one right. out. Come out of here, you sputtering little bastard. We're going to we're going to make you coach. And you know that that's the kind of guy he is, though. Because mm-hmm. that team had all kinds of issues. the national championship team mm-hmm. and all kinds of issues. I don't think anybody ever even opened a book. So I mean, you know, there's all kinds of things and the off the field stuff too. His his recruits are just got to. And again, no worse than anybody else. But don't act like you're suddenly. Oh, oh what happened? How could this have happened oh, here? No. It's been happening. I'm, look, I ta- I tell him every day, Brian. Snake. Not busy covering up a rape investigation yeah. or, or sending a guy up on a scissor lift to die. Yeah, if you're a Notre Dame fan, just stop it. We don't we don't look the other way. If we find improprieties as it relates to uh, this matter, uh, we're going to address them and, and deal with them. Hey, you only look the other way when there's a sexual assault allegation and a girl who commits suicide. So, nah, well, what? What? An investigation? No, we didn't. We don't know anything about yeah. it. Didn't hear anything about it. Don't really care. Uh, don't talk to us about it. Not interested. No worries. I agree. You don't necessarily look the other way when you recruit them. But you become really good at looking the other way after they get on campus. Who? I don't, I don't know who that is. You handled it. I, I, I don't know who that is. So, yeah, I think Notre Dame has had enough problems. And, look, I don't I don't ask for much because I don't, I don't – all of it is just, you know, a big pile of crap. But I, I just want those who have – who still hold, and I don't, I don't know if many do anymore, still hold Notre Dame to some higher standard. Just forget it, would you? Just forget that crap. I mean, just just get it out of your mind. There's no difference than any other, no different than any other the Alabama or Florida State or anybody else you know might be recruiting people who are troubled. Florida, they're back again pretty good, it looks like. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, not so like it was under Urban, but yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. Yeah, Anywhere any yeah. Urban Meyer is, too. And Urban Meyer is, too. So I don't want to forget the, you know, the rock star of college football. I'm just, it's, I know there's only certain things that John Jenkins or anybody involved with in Notre Dame can say. Mm-hmm. They have to act shocked. Eh? But you hired him to want to win games. That's right. You hired him to win. You hired him to you've get gotta, yourself you to a national championship. Bring in really fast. Guys. And he did it already. Yep. Did it really fast. And he hit you don't do that by a guy saying, well, you know, you can't have him. You can't recruit him. You don't have him. Don't look at him. Don't look at that. They ain't, can't go there. You can't have that. You can't have this. Don't go there. Don't worry about this. No, that's not how it works. It's not how it works. So when Brian Kelly says, well, <laughs> hey, you know, that's no, no. He, he knows exactly what he's doing, and so does Notre Dame. I, I don't want much out of this. I, I mean, if they have to forfeit every win for the last four years, okay. I mean, you know, forfeiting wins is not is not really, to me, you know, who cares? Everybody right. is seeming matter. Who, Nobody who gives a rat's ass about it. But I, I just want people who somehow, and I don't know if there are any of them left, and I just want a little group of them left roaming around, you know, the train station probably. Uh, don't, don't, don't believe that they're on some different plane, that they're, they're still above it all. There's no, tar- oh my God. Oh my God. 
don't kid yourself. Don't just just stop kidding yourself. You want to be a Notre Dame fan? Fine. Mm-hmm. Alabama fan, Florida State fan, Texas fan, whatever you want, whatever you want. Just know what you're getting. Don't think, see, we don't do things that way. Yeah, that's okay. No. I'm not mad at you for no, hiring no. him. Oh, absolutely not. He got he got he almost well he didn't quite get you to plumb, promise like because somebody coach. pounded you in the moon. But I mean that's what he did, and he did a relatively short order. Had him in a national championship game. Well, kinda. Well, but <laughs> well, if you, if you oh, watched you the game, yeah. Part, yeah. if you actually well, watched it, they were they were just sort yeah, of little, w- wearing opponents the entire time. Yeah, there was a moon landing there, but that, that um, you know, even at that, he did in a relatively short amount of time for a team that hadn't done much. That's for, how you do it. That's exactly you how you do it. Start bringing in those guys. You say, exactly hey, you know these, how you do it. these academic restrictions you have. I'm not paying attention to them anymore, and we're going to find a way to get these guys through classes, yeah. and we'll do the best we can to try to make sure nobody kills anybody. Well, he might kill somebody, but the players won't. They just no, might no, rape no, somebody. No, and then, no, no, He's got that right. sign in the locker room, don't kill people. He's got that he in the locker room. He just doesn't have it in his own office. But when, when you had a girl allegedly sexually assaulted who then killed herself because of it, and because, so, yeah. and because nobody would listen to her, and because nobody wanted to hear her story, and nobody right. cared, and everything, all the papers got shuffled, and all feet got dragged, and nobody got interviewed, and nobody really seemed to take her seriously, that's, that's the time if you really want to care about investigating something. That's then. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, again, so, oh, they did it themselves. Well, you know what? That tells me it's somebody else knew. T- Very quickly. Yep. And uh, the tweet from Schmutzi here who has it right on. He said, Notre Dame doesn't care about forfeited wins. They only care about forfeited money. The only fans who care about forfeited wins are Joe Paterno fans. That's correct. Yeah, they don't care. It means nothing to them. It's in the coffers.